In this video, learn how to work from home and make six figures with no college degree. Is that even possible? Find out starting now. This is Adjuster TV, Adjusters First. This video is sponsored by Hague Education. Use code Adjuster TV to get a 15% discount on damage assessment, CE training, industry certifications, books, and tools at HagueEducation.com. Hey, what's up? Matt here with Adjuster TV. And this is not clickbait, okay? Can you work from home? And with without having a college degree or trade school degree, or really a degree of any kind, and make six figures? And the answer is absolutely yes. However, it's not as easy as it sounds. It's not just like, a, oh, we'll just apply here at this company and boom, there's your six figure work from home job, right? So let's talk about this. So right the timer. I had done a couple of videos about this um, remote work stuff. And the reason why is because it is something that so many people email me about to ask me about. Um, I see a lot of stuff on social media about it. Everybody is looking for uh, a good job, a high paying job that they don't have to leave their house to do. And truly, I, I, I don't see any problem with that. I'm not, I'm not going to be mad at you. I'm not going to disparage you because you don't, you know, you, you want to stay home and, and try to make six figures. Um, but I will tell you that it, I, I think that there's, while there are opportunities to do that, that the path to getting to that point where you're making, you actually are making, you know, $100,000 or $115,000 a year, staying at home, doing only stuff on your computer for, you know, six hours a day, whatever it is, right? Um, in order to get to that place, uh, you, you kind of have to invest yourself in this industry a little bit first, right? And what that means is the number one thing, and I think this thing really trumps, um, pretty much everything else. And that is, is that licensing for independent adjusters is extremely important, right? Licensing for um, field adjusters is very important because a field adjuster can't run claims in New Mexico if they don't have a New Mexico license. So they're not gonna get called to go to New Mexico, right? I think it's even more important for remote desk adjusters or people who wanna do remote work to have all the licenses that, that are available to them, there's about, about 34 of them right now. Um, all those licenses, you need to get every single license. Because if you live in Colorado, you're not just gonna get stuff in Colorado, right? To, in order to, to be able to have the most opportunities open to you to make money, you need to be able to work in every state. And by work, I mean, they can't send you remote desk work for Texas if you don't have a Texas adjuster license, you live in Colorado, which doesn't have a license, by the way, right? So you have to have a Texas license to handle, a big hailstorm hits Texas and you're looking for remote people, right? And you've developed a relationship with the company and they wanna put you to work and you don't have Texas license, they can't give you work for Texas, right? So you need to get every license, every single license. Um, it's kind of expensive, uh, but I think all things considered, maybe around 1500 bucks, 1800 bucks, something like that to, to get all those lights, every, to get every single license, um, small price to pay, right? For, for increasing your opportunity to get work as a remote desk person. The second thing I would say is, is that more equally as important for you as a desk adjuster, um, you know, if you versus doing like field work is that you have to be an absolute ace in Xactimate, okay? Or and or Symbility, both either platform. So you need to know how to use the software. You need to be fluent in it. You need to know how to troubleshoot it yourself. You need to find, know how to be able to find help really quickly. You need to be able to find know how to find things in Xactimate, which is one of the big challenges of the software. Is that it's hard. It's it's not immediately obvious how to find stuff. Right? There's, there's several different ways to find things. Um, so you need to have an Xactimate minimum. I would say <clears throat> Xactimate level two certification. So. Licenses, Xactimate level two, right? If you wanna do remote work. Um, I think in, even in that case, you still need to have uh, some formal adjuster training, whether that's a fast track deployment or it's MOCAT or veteran adjusting school um, or some kind of, uh, or Hague's, uh, Hague certified reviewer program, which has, I think they have four modules and each one progressively kind of builds on the last one. Um, by the way, if you go to hagueducation.com, uh, uh, Hague um, you can use coupon code uh, Adjuster TV for a discount on, on all, all those, those levels. Um, 
you need to have some training, right? So you can't just be like, well, you know, I heard about this thing a week ago and then get all mad when nobody wants to hire you or nobody, they say, well, you know, you, we can't really give you any claims until you do these things. And then you can't just walk onto a six figure job with, with nothing, right? So, it, but really the bottom line of what I'm saying is, is that yes, those opportunities are available, um, but no, they're not just gonna give them to you just for showing up and like, waving and saying hi you know you have to have some skin in the game you absolutely the more licenses you have the easier it is for them to want to give you work because they're gonna be like well this person can do claims in every single state which is what we need right licensing be fluent in estimating software um, we have those resources at adjustertvplus.com um, get the Hague certified reviewer level three at the minimum <clears throat> level four is kind of like a, a elective level uh, fast track to deployment certification, I think is pretty important. Um, so, so in other words, really the long story short on this is you still kind of have to have the same basic qualifications and the same basic certifications and everything as you do what is a field adjuster. Because it, there, this is for property claims, it doesn't matter if you're sitting at a desk, the only thing the difference between sitting at a desk and doing stuff at home and being a field adjuster is that you're not doing the actual scope yourself. Somebody else is doing the scope and then you're just writing it up. Right, so you need, to, you need to know the whole process. Um, the fastest, I would say that the, I would say the fastest way to, to become a desk, remote desk adjuster is to prove yourself um, as a field adjuster. I, I think that the field role still is, is absolutely critical. I'm not saying you have to do it for five years or even three years, but if you do a season of storms um, or you do photo and scope and you get out there in the field and you, you do that part of it, it's gonna make you a way better desk adjuster than if you just came in straight in and you had no idea what desk adjusters do. And again, I'll say this, flip it, you know, for field adjusters, you're like, there's no way in the world I wanna sit in the, in, at home on a desk. I wanna be outside in the sun, climbing on roofs or whatever. Take desk remote roles, um, in the off season, right? Because it's gonna make you a better, just do cleanup. Oh my gosh, it's huge. If you're a field adjuster and they say, hey, you wanna stick around and do cleanup for us? Well, what does that mean? It means doing supplements and reinspections and it's a little bit of a grind, but absolutely a great way to, to build up your relationship with your firm and the carrier to help them clean that stuff up. And you're gonna see what great adjusters do and you can see what terrible adjusters do and you can see what not to do and what you know you should kind of emulate in your claims. Same thing goes for remote desk work. Um, I think that a, a well-rounded claims professional will be able to do both, right? And will want to be able and will want to do both and not just be like, well, I'm only, I only, you know, my lifestyle, I just want to be able to go to the coffee shop in the afternoon and do remote stuff in the morning and just kind of mail it in and do the, the, the quiet quitter hashtag lazy girl job thing because it's remote. Nobody can see me. I'm in my PJs, right? Um, you're not going to make six figures doing that. I mean, you can maybe figure out a way to, to do it, but you're going to, you're going to make more than you're going to be able to put yourself in a position to, to, to have a much better, longer lasting, much more rewarding career if you really put yourself into it. And I think that that really starts by doing field work first. And again, we don't have to do like, you know, five years worth of this or climbing churches or whatever. You just need to be, just get out there and see the process firsthand, run yourself through the, 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 the movements and the actions of doing field claims work, doing the whole thing start to finish. And then when you go to sit down to the desk and do it, it's way easier. I mean, it's, it's honestly, it's a lot easier because the things won't, nothing will be foreign or nothing will be like, you know, everything, like, things will make, make a lot more sense as a desk adjuster um, if you do field first. So. Yes, you can work from home. And neither one of those require a college degree, by the way. Um, you know, you can make, you can make as much as a general practitioner, doctor, like a family care, a primary care physician, $280,000, $230,000 with six weeks worth of training, maybe five to $10,000 investment in that and make that kind of money within two years versus 14 years or whatever it is and $450,000 in debt. Uh, it's kind of a no-brainer to me if you ask me. If you want to watch the rest of this episode where I answer other questions ad-free, as well as get access to a members only segment question and answer, head on over to adjustertvplus.com and become a member right now.